Sunday morning to everybody. It is almost nine o'clock and today is a very eventful day. First on the agenda today is we're actually meeting up with a fellow YouTuber by the name of Spencer Burke. He is visiting the Pittsburgh area here for a few days and we're actually gonna meet up at a Shell station and have a minor fan meet. And yeah, uh, the time of this fan meet might be a little different. I wasn't the one setting this up, but it is indeed uh, Monday morning at 9 a.m. And uh, as usual, I'm actually running a little late here. I don't really know what's going on with me because I usually am never ever late. So we gotta get on the road. AMG looking very shiny by the way. Damn, she's so fine when she is clean. Still got a bunch of water spots though. I mean, it's impossible to get this car completely clean, but let's roll. So of course we are uh, stuck in traffic. <laughs> now after this little get together, I actually have something in the trunk here that will be installed on the AMG. So we're going straight to Auto Illusions and improving the Benz. Of course, my car's not gonna be clean anymore. Wet as hell here. It's funny, it hasn't even been raining. All right, so we're almost finally there. Pittsburgh sucks to drive in, especially the downtown area, like Oakland area, especially in the morning as well when there's traffic. However, it is a very nice day though, so uh, perfect weather for a little uh, meetup and a get together. on Instagram, but we made this spot just for you. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I told, I convinced them to do so. What? What's up, man? Nice to meet you, Good man. to meet you, dude. How are you? Thanks for coming out. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's fun. I'm sure you can probably park it out. Yeah, I guess right the, there. He's got this far right here. Right there. Yeah. All right, let me back in here. I think he got me a park as well. All right, so here we are at a Shell gas station uh, Monday morning for a quick little fan meet. Actually had some people come here. I didn't think anyone was gonna come, but I'm here meeting up with uh, Spencer Burke. Yes, sir, you got uh, it. Where, where do you live? So I, I live- I know it's California. Yeah, yeah, I live over in Orange County, California, and uh, nice. it's a nice area. I grew up in San Diego, but um, came out here today for a little Shell meetup, and I'm also surprised that a lot of people showed up for a Monday morning, so right. very thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, man. It's fun meeting everyone. EA40s here. Oh, hello guys. <laughs> a vlog vlogging a vlog here. Basically, Inception. Cars. <laughs> Thanks to everyone that's coming out, man. This is awesome. So yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out here for a little while. Uh, weather's really nice, which is uh, I'm, I'm grateful for. I'm happy for it. I mean, I'm thankful that it's a lot better than what I thought. I looked on my schedule and it's right, supposed right. to rain, so. Turns out it's not gonna rain today. And I got a gas card from Spencer, <laughs> so 10 bucks of free gas, that's awesome. Going, You've been handing them uh, out to everyone here, right? Yeah, or like 20 of them. Yeah, so the first people that showed up handed them all out, so thankfully we're all out of gas cards now. Right, right. So. That's awesome. Yeah, because it is about, you had 20 and it is about 20 people yeah, here, right? everything else so far, so it worked out well. And like I said, I'm surprised. I mean, I know that it's a Monday morning, but when you have right. supporters like this, it I know, happy, so. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> I think that uh, it's summertime too, and people are off school and stuff kind of helps. Yeah, a little more of an open time for people to come out. And right, out. right, right. Oh yeah, and I got a personalized little uh, parking space here as yeah, well. That was very, very, very nice. <laughs> had to put that aside for you. <laughs> Yeah, I smoked a few of them. Before. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. May have to upgrade that, huh? Huh? May have to upgrade that, huh? Yeah, well I had a Viper with a thousand horsepower. What do you expect? I, uh, I'm a blame it, man. <laughs> That's a nice car, buddy. It's beautiful. It's I appreciate absolutely it. beautiful. What's that, about two hundred? Uh it's about a hundred hundred brand new. That? Where is that all? Yeah. yeah. It's the deal, man. Hey, the, shit, I thought that, that was two hundred. No, you should get yourself one. I might. But you know, you know what it'll smoke at, don't you? Thousand horsepower Viper. That and that new Demon Cuda. Demon Cuda. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That it's new Demon yeah. Cuda is for the money, but there's there's no no comparison. With That's total class, man. Good luck with it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. What are you guys doing here? Just hanging out, making some yeah. videos. Oh, really? Yeah. Videos of the car? Yeah, cars, yeah. Shell gas. Oh, you work for Shell? Yeah, typical Monday morning. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. You work for Shell and you have that? Yep. That's Who are you robbing? <laughs> <laughs> have a so, nice day. Thank you, sir. <laughs> See ya. Very nice car. Thank you. 
See you tomorrow. Did you record that? Right, look at that. Four wings, five wings. Very nice. Very nice. What, you ready to go? What? All right, so we've been out here for about 45 minutes now. It's been uh, an awesome time. Thanks to everyone that came out. Thanks to Shell and uh, Spencer Burke for setting this up. I was kind of just, you know, coming along. It was their meetup here. But we got a bounce here because uh, we got some stuff that needs installed on the Mercedes. So uh, yeah, time to leave. Thanks to everyone that came out. It was awesome. Really nice. You guys got to message me on Instagram because I can't remember everyone's name and tagging and all that stuff. So, all right. Appreciate it, fellas. All right. Thanks for coming, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. All right. So here we are again. At Auto Illusions and some of you guys might have noticed that I've been having the stock diffuser on for a little while after having the mode carbon Luftstrom diffuser a new one of those is actually right here and it will be installed today look I just flipped the switch flip, flip. I don't know nobody else is doing this so check this out this is my C63 without a rear bumper. Here are the exhaust tips. I guess one of them is for open valves, one is for closed, I would assume. Be I mean, because they're shaped differently. And uh, here we have these fake tips. Not that I care, the sound is the same anyhow, but it's kind of funny. And here is the actual rear bumper. So this time when we're installing the uh, new diffuser, we're actually doing it the right way. We didn't have the proper instructions last time. That's why I'm uh, getting a new Luftstrom rear diffuser. But yeah, it looks kind of weird without our rear bumper. All right, so we've been hard at work here. We got the, uh, the new diffuser on, and yeah, <laughs> it looks a hundred times better than the stock diffuser. It's, it's a pretty hard job here when you do it correctly, taking the rear bumper off, and putting some uh, screws to hold these clips in but yeah now we just got to get the rear bumper back on the car Yeah, so I felt that it was time for uh, some sound porn. We haven't really been driving around in the AMG much except for our recent Pocono trip there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I thought that maybe I should explain here uh, why we put this diffuser on. Since I already had one and we took it off and so on. Well, most people probably wouldn't have cared. I'm just kind of picky when it comes to this, <laughs> these kind of things. At the time that we installed the, the, the first one, uh, it was after a while popping out a little bit here on the sides on both 
sides, but that's uh, because the, the clips that actually go into the rear bumper here on this diffuser, they were slightly defective on that specific diffuser. So I told the company Mode Carbon about that and what they did was they sent me a new one. So here is the, uh, the previous one and if you see these clips right here, on these outer ones, it was kind of popping out a little bit. I mean, they are pretty good clips, but if you compare it to OEM, they're not quite as good. And that's unfortunately how it can be with aftermarket. Uh, it's not going to be 100%. Anyone who thinks different, um, reality check. However, it is very, very close. And I love this Luftstrom diffuser. It looks absolutely awesome. So basically what we did was that when the rear bumper was off and we put the new diffuser in once these clips were on the inside of the bumper we put some screws right here in the clip that went into um, the inner part of the actual rear bumper so yeah of course it's not in the metal um, it's down in underneath here but as you guys can tell here, I mean, it gives the car a completely different look. It's a very, very aggressive rear diffuser, and I'm extremely happy that it's on my car. So I haven't covered everything about the diffuser. There's something else that we got to do to the AMG today. And um, this is unfortunately because I live in the city of Pittsburgh where the roads are horrible. We've uh, made a video on this before where one of my wheels actually bent. I had to take it to alloy wheel repair and have them fix my wheel. Now at that time I did get some comments from people saying well that's because it's bad quality wheel and it's actually the opposite. When you hit a pothole, um, for anyone that's done that before, you know if you have a cast wheel uh, it's a pretty good chance that that wheel cracks and you're gonna have to get a brand new wheel. When your wheel just bends from a really big impact, that actually means that you have a very good and strong wheel. These wheels that I got from Bellows Design Works, they are two-piece forged wheels and uh, they've been absolutely awesome. But I was driving over a bridge called the Swickley Bridge yesterday and actually on my passenger uh, front wheel I hit a massive pothole. I was actually driving zigzagging because the road is so horrible on that bridge. And still I managed to hit one of these enormous potholes. So I feel this slight slight vibration in the steering wheel at certain speeds. I mean, it's nothing major, but it's not something I want to drive around on. And it goes without saying, of course, that when you have these type of wheels and very low profile tires, as you guys can see here, it's 30 profile tires all around the car. Yeah, you got a lot more wheel and a lot less tires, which goes without saying that you are a lot more prone to get a bent or cracked wheel in your car driving around in a crappy city roadwise like Pittsburgh. So with no further ado, let's go to alloy wheel repair. So uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> this video has been all over the place, back and forth, different topics. But uh, alloy wheel repair actually has a new employee. It's Mike, right? He used to work at Best Buy and he actually sold me my first GoPro ever in 2015. That's correct. That's when I uh, started uh, up in my game a little bit and not just filming with my iPhone 5 and iPhone 6. So I got my first GoPro and this is the guy who actually sold it to me. I didn't recognize him at first. He just started working here, but yep. good to see you again, man. Good to see you too, dude. So you're learning to uh, to do this whole uh, wheel thing, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm a car guy, like I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I knew the family and so I was just like, hey, you guys need an employee? And they said, let's go. That's cool, man. So, That's awesome. So check this out. You guys can see how uneven it is. I mean, it's not a huge, huge difference, but it definitely makes a difference when you drive in the car. So Steve here, the master, is about to uh, do his thing once again. All right, so one wheel is done. We're actually going to be checking all four wheels just to be on the safe side here. Uh, but I think it's definitely that one, or was that one. It's fixed now. And then uh, the driver's side front as well. Uh, hopefully there's nothing in the rears, but we'll find out. So here you can tell the difference between a cast wheel and a forged wheel. You can actually see the crack right there. Uh, and many times these wheels can be cracked without it actually being visibly noticeable unless there is pressure on the wheel like this one over here. So on this wheel right here you can see there's definitely severely bent here but uh, when they put it on their little machine over there where he has my wheel and he puts pressure on this wheel uh, he can see the crack up here. I forget where he told me exactly where it was but yeah the difference between a cast and a forged wheel. 
And just like that, we are back in the garage. I know that this video has probably been uh, jumping around a little bit, back and forth. I apologize about that if you guys find it annoying or whatever, but uh, I've been extremely busy. There's a lot going on. So it's actually been a lot of rushing for me today. So I, the, the video hasn't flowed in uh, the same way, I guess, but uh, we're back. The wheels are fixed. The car runs just perfectly. So grateful that I found Alloy Wheel Repair and Steve there. He does a fantastic job. So for anyone that lives in the Pittsburgh area, um, and you have, you know, any kind of wheel issue, whether they're scraped or you want them refinished or powder coated or fixed just like mine, they're bent, they can definitely take care of you. But that's going to do it for today's video. I know a lot of people had asked for a video uh, featuring the AMG. There's been a lot of F-150 content here lately, I know that. But in, uh, I think, uh, two, three upcoming videos here, we're going to have a lot of fun in the AMG. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. <laughs> and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and i'll see you guys very very soon a lot of cars dropping by on my street today bye